Once your grill has been properly installed by a qualified professional service technician, familiarize yourself with the grill. A standalone E790 is shown here. Your model and designs may vary. The interior of the grill is equipped with burners, zone separators, flavor grids, cooking grids, a back burner, a rotisserie kit, a warming rack, and oven lights. The control panel is equipped with a digital thermometer, lighted control knobs, a smoker drawer, a drip tray, a meat probe, and a master switch. Standalone models offer a folding shelf, a side burner shelf, a tool and paper towel holder, drawers, a door, a tank tray, and a fixed power supply with outlet. Optional items include a Magic View window and a power hood. This model is equipped with a side burner. Models with a double side burner or power burner are available. The master switch is push button operated and is located on the right side of the control panel. It controls power to all lights, igniters, and the thermometer. It allows the power to be turned on or off for safety and convenience. The switch will need to be turned on prior to each grill use and turned off after each use. Ensure the oven lid is open and remove any covers from the burners to be lit. Depress the desired control knob for 5 seconds and while pressing turn it counterclockwise to the high light position. Once the burner lights, release the knob. If a burner does not light within 5 seconds of turning on the control knob, depress the knob and turn it to the off position. Wait 5 minutes before repeating. If you smell gas, follow the instructions found on the cover of your owner's manual. Repeat is needed for each additional burner to be lit. Lighting is the same for main burners, infrared burners, back burners, side burners, and power burners. Refer to the owner's manual for detailed instructions and for manual lighting. To adjust a burner flame, simply turn the control knob counterclockwise to lower the flame and clockwise to raise it. To turn off the burner completely, depress the control knob and while pressing, turn it clockwise to the off position. Your grill comes with a digital thermometer for temperature monitored and timed cooking. Please familiarize yourself with the thermometer. Pressing any button will turn on the thermometer. The default screen will appear when the thermometer is first turned on. Interior and knob lights. Turn thermometer on. Press light button to turn both interior and knob lights on. Press light button once to turn interior lights off and a second time to turn knob lights off. Calibrate thermometer. Turn thermometer on. Press menu. The setup option will be highlighted. Press set. Press down arrow to calibrate. Press set. Thermometer will calibrate with ambient temperature automatically and return to menu screen. Press menu to return to default screen. Change temperature units. Turn thermometer on and advance to setup screen as previously detailed. The setup FC option will be highlighted. Press set. Use arrows to select as desired and press set. Display will return to menu screen. Press menu to return to default screen. Set a zone and or meat probe temperature. Your grill is divided into three cooking zones, each corresponding to a burner and its control knob. The cooking zone temperatures are monitored by the thermometer. The meat probe is also monitored by the thermometer. Turn thermometer on. Press up or down arrow to desired zone or meat probe on the thermometer screen. It will flash. Press set. Press up or down arrow to set the desired temperature. Press set. Display will return to default screen. Repeat as necessary for all other areas. Alarm will sound if set to do so when an area's actual temp reaches its set temp. Press any button to silence. 
Grill Guide and Meat Probe. Turn thermometer on. Press Menu. Press down arrow to Grill Guide. Press Set. The Grill Guide displays recommended ready temperatures for various meats. Press up or down arrow to view desired meat. Note Temp and press Set. Press up or down arrow to set the noted temperature for the meat probe. Press Set. Display will return to default screen. Putting the meat probe into the cooking meat will give an actual temp reading. Alarm will sound if set to do so when an area's actual temp reaches its set temp. Press any button to silence. Set timer. Turn thermometer on. Press timer button. Press up or down arrow to set desired amount of time. Press set. Display will return to default screen. Time remaining will show. Alarm will sound when time reaches zero. Press any button to silence. Set alarm on off. Turn thermometer on. Press menu. Press down arrow to alarm. Press set. Press up or down arrow to select desired alarm and press light button to turn alarm on or off. Press set to return to menu screen. Press menu to return to default screen. Set thermometer backlight. Turn thermometer on. Press menu. Press down arrow to backlight. Press set. Press up or down arrow to select desired color and press light button to turn color on or off. Press set. New thermometer screen color will display automatically and return to menu screen. Various combinations will result in different colors. Press menu to return to default screen. When using the rotisserie, keep the oven lid closed to prevent heat loss, provide proper convection, and provide proper venting. This will ensure even cooking temperatures. Do not keep your oven lid open during rotissing as this may cause personal injury or in some cases, in windy conditions, damage to the grill. Remove the warming rack, back burner cover, cooking grids, and zone separators. Leave the flavor grids on if possible. Slide the rotisserie motor fully onto the motor bracket found on the right side of the grill and plug it in. Remove the rotisserie rod from the rear bracket. Slide the left meat holder onto the rod and tighten. Carefully slide the meat onto the rod followed by the right meat holder. Be sure the meat in assembly is secure and as centered as possible. Then insert the pointed end of the rod into the motor drive socket and the knob end onto the left support bracket. For unbalanced meats, the counterbalance may be attached to the rod to even weight distribution. Reference your owner's manual for counterbalance details. To keep drippings off the burner and simplify cleanup, place Fire Magic drip tray liners under the meat if desired. Press the rocker switch to start. The rod should rotate smoothly without any noticeable jumps. If needed, shut off the motor and adjust the setup, including the counterbalance if in use. Light the back burner per this video or per the lighting instructions in the owner's manual and close the oven lid. Begin with the cool grill. If handling the smoker drawer while the grill is hot, you must wear heat resistant gloves and handle with extreme care to avoid personal injury. Completely remove the smoker drawer and set on a flat surface. Lift off the lid and set aside. Fill the tray area with wood chips or pellets. Wood chips should be pre-soaked in water. The tray may also be filled with water or liquid flavoring. Replace the lid on the smoker drawer. Light the smoker burner per this video or per the lighting instructions in the owner's manual. It is best to look into the smoker drawer opening to confirm the burner has properly lit. Place the drawer into the grill. Light the far left main burner and close the oven lid. When using only one burner to smoke, Use a far left burner as it will minimize burner heat on the smoker drawer and maximize a circulating convection current that will draw the smoke flavor into the food.
Your grill must be maintained properly to ensure optimal performance, appearance, and safety. Be sure the grill is completely cool and the gas is completely shut off prior to any cleaning. Do not spray any cleaner or liquids on the grill when hot. The grill must be cleaned as often as once a month, depending on use, to prevent grease buildup and other food deposits. This section summarizes cleaning. Closely follow the instructions supplied with any cleaning products used. Wear gloves and safety glasses during cleaning. A clean grill is shown here for clarity. Please note, any appropriate cleaners may be used. Optional Fire Magic cleaners are used in this video. Clean the stainless steel of your grill exterior by first using grill cleaner to remove grease and dirt. Always wipe with the grain. Next, use stainless steel cleaner to restore the stainless steel color. To clean the mirror panel, use a quality brand glass cleaner, not any of the cleaners previously mentioned. If your grill is equipped with a Magic View window, it can also be cleaned with the glass cleaner. The Fire Magic grill cover will protect your grill's finish and protect your investment. Contact your dealer for ordering information. Interior components such as a warming rack, rotisserie rod assembly, cooking grids, zone separators, and flavor grids should be removed and cleaned of all excess deposits. Use a grill brush for the cooking grids and warming rack. All components mentioned can be washed with a scouring pad in a mild detergent solution, rinsed in water, and then dried completely. The back burner cover may be removed and gently cleaned with a soft cloth and glass cleaner if necessary. Do not use any abrasive cleaning products or pads. The burner ports and carryover slots on the main burners must be kept clean to ensure proper ignition and operation. Remove the burner and clean as required. A maintenance kit is offered by FireMagic and includes detailed instructions on a complete burner clean. Contact your dealer for ordering information. The steel of the interior liner may be cleaned periodically with grill cleaner if desired. Be sure to follow the instructions and to completely remove all cleaner prior to proceeding. If your grill is equipped with the Magic View window, the interior can be washed with a cloth and a mild detergent solution, wiped with a damp cloth, and then dried completely. Finish by cleaning with a glass cleaner or a tested and approved glass ceramic cleaner. Dry thoroughly. The oven lights can be removed as shown and clean on both sides with glass cleaner. Dry completely and replace. The drip tray and smoker drawer should be checked and emptied regularly. Discard the drip tray liner if used. The components may also be removed and washed with a scouring pad and mild detergent solution, rinsed in water, and then dried completely. A new drip tray liner can be placed for future use. Any components removed during this clean must be properly reinstalled. This section was a summary of cleaning your grill. Detailed step-by-step -step cleaning instructions can be obtained from your local dealer. If service is required, contact your dealer to ensure a qualified professional technician services your grill.